morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel it is good friday the 15th of april 2022 and today i'm making a relatively short trip over to west yorkshire for geisley versus gateshead in the national league north So here I'm in Geisley, I'll tell you what, it's a glorious day for it, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, going to this game, guys, they are currently bottom of the table. But in the week, uh, Marcus Bignett and Russ O'Neill left the club and uh, were replaced by former Scarborough manager Steve Kistrick, who got off to an excellent start uh, with an impressive 2-0 win down at Kettering on Tuesday night. So that leaves them just two points uh, off of safety. So they have everything to go for today. But at the same time, we certainly have as well um obviously uh as a result of beating chester last week we are still second in the table and only still just only one point behind brackley so um so, so yeah obviously brackley themselves are away to leamington stay which could be something of a banana skin obviously we were beaten down there earlier in the season and the likes of boston york and chorley who were all looking to finish in playoff spots have also been on there and been beaten as well so um it's a bit of a banana skin but uh and do we can't control what happens down there we've just got to focus on ourselves and make sure we come down here in what i personally think will be quite a gritty game and just make sure we come out on the right side of it um obviously uh there's still six games to go and things can change at any given point it is, it is easter weekend and as history's probably shown uh, easter weekend can always be pretty pretty pivotal uh, we've got uh darlington coming to the international stadium on monday but uh it's just a case of one game at a time isn't it um it is going to be a tough battle for us here today so it's about um it's about making sure we we play it properly and uh and yeah um make sure we get the we can get a second win on a bounce but anyway let's head into nevermore park and find out how it all unfolds so guys the yeah, also warm up uh gate said uh still in the changing rooms right now here come gate said out to warm up Soy sauce. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Get out, Jack. Go on. Oh, one boys. Oh, oh, another corner. Come on. Go on. 
Better, come on. Go on. Yes! yes! Come on! Yes! Get in! Come on, lads, come on! I'll do, lads. Keep it going, Philip. Half time, guys, we're in Hill Gates at one. Uh, it's been a cagey game, but I was sort of expecting it. Obviously, both teams need the win for different reasons. A draw's not really good enough for either. Um, I think it's, it is important that we did get that first goal, and thankfully, half obviously now. Um, Geisley, when he gets set pieces, etc., in the second half, may have to commit a few more bodies forward. And uh, honestly, we, we are, I personally think we are the best counter attacking team in the league by some distance. So um, if we if we can get that to sort of play into our hands a bit, then it might just suit us. But um, it is going to be another sort of gritty, tight second half, I think. Just hopefully we can uh, go on and get a win. I think maybe if we can get 2 0 up, then that might just sort of do a spot um, but we'll just have to wait and see won't we go on yes, yes! come on get in Woo! yes come on Go on, Marquez, on! Go on! Yes! Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! Go on, 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 Right, so three minutes of added time at the end of this excruciatingly tight game.
still playing at, Bro at Levington. We've done our bit, that's all we could do, so we've done it well. Come lads! Full-time Geisley nil, Gateshead 6. Not the best Good Friday I've ever had, but definitely in the top one. Um, absolutely lethal there from us today. Uh, I think the first half, it was a very scrappy, cagey sort of game. Um, neither team could really get any real passing rhythm going, but it was vitally important that we managed to get that first goal. I mean, it took a bit of a... It went in by a deflection, but uh, they all count, don't they? Um, then I think maybe did it right to see it out but until half time at 1 0. Uh, then, second half, guys, Lee knew that they'd have to push forward that bit more, but uh, well, thankfully, uh, within about what four minutes of the second half, starting something like that, we managed to get a 2 0 up. And Macaulay Langstaff, 1 and 1, uh, when, when he's in that situation, you know the rest basically, don't you? Then the third one, a couple of minutes after, was uh, basically identical, wasn't it? Um, then from there, we maybe took our foot off the gas a little bit, but you can sort of understand that. I mean, at that point, the game essentially was won. Um, and of course, you've got to remember, we have got another game to come on Monday afternoon, another big game at that, so you can sort of understand that. Um, but then, uh, I think, what, 15 minutes or so left, uh, Conor Malley found himself clean through, uh, slotted away for four. Um, then, pretty quickly after that, uh, Taylor Charles has thumped in number five. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think from there, the confidence really was flowing through us. And uh, it was maybe no surprise when five became six towards the end of the game. I and mean, it could have even been seven, uh, but unfortunately, uh, Kedwin hit the post. But... Uh, yeah, excellent away performance. It's not every day you can say you saw your team win 6-0 away from home, is it? So I uh, can rightly enjoy it tonight. But come tomorrow, the focus once again has to change uh, to Darlington at home. I mean, even better, well, not even better, but uh, but also today um, is that Brackley were held to a 0-0 at Leamington, which means we have our lead back. Uh, we cannot let our these stand, sort of standards we've set drop now um, we've got it back and now we just need to make sure we we keep it um, and it's going to be it's going to be a tough game on Monday now Darlow lost today so they're um, so obviously now they're four points adrift of the playoffs so they'll be looking to pull themselves back back towards it but uh, at the same time we'll be full of confidence now where uh, obviously now where uh, we because we have just scored 10 goals in our last two games which is pretty insane really uh, it is only a one point lead but we do have that goal difference which I think now is going to be absolutely critical for us uh, we've just got to keep it going like honestly like we can enjoy this tonight rightly so as I said it's not every day uh, this sort of scoring away from home happens but um, but yeah uh, we just need to take it one step at a time now five massive cup finals come up, coming up for us now basically uh, i think as for geisley uh you could see the heads just drop massively once that second goal went in so it's not looking good for them but it is only there are only th three points adrift so um the end of the day, a lot can happen in five games can't it so we'll just have to wait and see how it goes at the bottom but anyway that is that for this video um I will be back tomorrow, uh, most definitely with uh, York City Knights versus Newcastle Thunder in the rugby. But um, in terms of foot, if I can get to any football during the day, um, might do, but it is looking pretty doubtful at the minute. But either way, there will be a video coming tomorrow. But until then, take care, and I will see you later.